Carbon monoxide can kill you. This is Marco Volk, www.houseinvestigations.com. Did you know that heating professionals are responsible for hundreds of carbon monoxide deaths per year? Did you know that almost 90% of all furnace personnel have no clue about combustion testing? These same 90% of all first furnace and HVAC personnel have no clue about draft testing. When you call for your yearly inspection, cleaning, and maintenance, these guys show up with a vacuum cleaner, an oil can, maybe one or two screwdrivers, and a filter. And then they charge you between you know, $100 and $200 and call that a furnace tune-up. Not once do they ever test for combustion or draft. If your furnace man or HVAC contractor comes to your home without a combustion analyzer or draft gauge and they're not certified, I would probably tell them to go home. You can tell if a furnace or water heater ha has been tested for combustion draft simply by looking at the flue uh, vent that leaves the unit. There's usually a hole, a small hole that's drilled through that because that's how they have to insert their probe and it's usually a hole either it's left open you don't really have to patch those holes um, or it's been patched with uh, high temperature caulking or tape in one of the three-day seminars I took from NCI uh, they told us that roughly 30,000 people actually die from carbon dioxide and 3 million people become poisoned uh, by carbon monoxide low level carbon monoxide poisoning leads to many other health problems doctors misdiagnose most CO related illnesses doctors do not perform autopsies on most of the deceased elders elder people are retired usually and they stay home the CO accumulates slowly and, it be, and they become low-level CO poison and then of course that leads to other health ailments and um, when something happens where the CO meters go off, by the way, CO meters go off at 70, you're very sick by that time. They call the fire department, they open the door, and they wait for the fire department. So, of course, when the fire department walks in the house waving their CO wands, they're not going to find anything. This is because when they open the door, they suck the carbon monoxide out of the house. Now, when people show up to your house to test for carbon monoxide, and they walk around their house holding their little carbon monoxide gauges, and they don't show anything well you know what that's not the way you test for carbon monoxide because ninety percent of homes that have carbon monoxide problems aren't going to you're not going to be able to detect it in the room or even in a register one of the easiest ways to know if you have a problem is just go downstairs and go to your water heater if the top of the water heater is rusted you know a lot of, a lot of plumbers say it's a plumbing leak or condensation well if it's rusted it's spilling at the water heater in other words the draft is too low if the rust stain is down at the burner the lower section then many times it's because the draft is too high when I'm talking about high draft I'm talking about air getting sucked up the chimney and so you know you can have a high stack effect you can have uh, uh, pressure problems in the basement depressurization pressurization you can have fans in houses uh, uh, you can close doors and not have enough air regardless of the problem there's too much air getting sucked up that chimney and so then the water heater can't compete with it and then it spills back down and when it spills back into the water heater you have incomplete combustion and that creates a lot of carbon monoxide and this is the same for the furnace go to the furnace if there's stains on the upper portion well you've got no draft if there's stains at the bottom then you have too high a draft uh, rust stains on gas fire systems oil burners or any type of fossil fuel burning system is a indication of a major problem okay let's get back to the furnace guy HVAC contractor if they don't do a combustion test then they can't really adjust your furnace and you can have a lot of problems um, number one you could be over fired this means that the gas regulator isn't properly adjusted and you have a very high stack temperature you could be under fired again the gas regulator isn't properly adjusted and you have a low stack temperature you might have a high oxygen level and you may even have high carbon monoxide you could have a venting problem you could have a combustion air problem you could have an alignment problem you could have dust rust problem in the orifices of the burners you could have a mechanical problem if they don't check it they don't know if the fan speed is proper and if the fan speed is too high or too low that's going to cause 
problems with the static temperatures and potentially create carbon monoxide. And you might even have a, a heat transfer problem. This is where, where you're heating up the heat exchanger and you're creating high carbon monoxide. You can't, you can't find out any of this without a combustion analysis. And like I said, 90% of the heating contractors do not perform these. One of the biggest scams is when they do find carbon monoxide, the heating contractors come out and they have no clue what's causing it. So then they're going to automatically say, oh, you have a cracked heat exchanger. You need a new furnace. And you know what? Many times you do have a cracked heat exchanger, but it was cracked because of these initial problems. It was never adjusted, so there was condensation inside the exchanger, and that's what caused the rust, and that's what caused the crack. If you're going to have a contractor tell you you have a cracked heat exchanger, you want to see it. We have a lot more information on this topic on www.houseinvestigations.com. Thank you. This is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com houseinvestigations.com